Assalamu alaikum habibati and welcome to another Arab Man React. It's Angelina Jordan Monday on the channel and this week we're doing If I Were a Boy, the second edition. Something flying around me? So last week we did If I Were a Boy, Piano Diaries by Toby Gad. So it was the version of the song with, with piano, very minor instrumentation on that one. And it was inside this beautiful church. And it just sounded fantastic for what it is. At the end of the reaction, we discovered that there's another version of the song. And I said that I'm going to do this version today. And I was so happily surprised when I found out that they actually released a video for the second version. So I might have heard a little bit of the audio from last week, but this video is the thing that I'm excited about the most. I will, of course, leave a link to this video down in the description below. Please go watch it, go like it, go comment on it, because it only has 108,000 views as of the time of recording this reaction. And we need to get that up in the half a million, up to a million. So here's Angelina Jordan, If I Were a Boy, official music video. If I were a boy even just for a day I'd roll out of bed in the morning And throw on what I wanted and go All right, wait, we're going to do something here. We're going to compare the, the, the vocals just to see if they've mixed them differently. If I were a boy Even just for a day Okay, focus on the even just for a day even just for a day. These are different vocals, guys. These are complete different vocals. They're not the same vocals. So Ramsey here. I just wanted to let you guys know that Booty is wrong. That's my favorite thing in the world to say. I actually went and double checked, and sure enough, they're the same vocal track. What's happening is that they're just mixed differently. So, in a different context, you're going to get a different sounding vocal. And that's the magic of production. Remember, Booty's wrong. I would go and say that they didn't do a double check of the vocal double take of the vocals on this. So one of the things that singers do when they're recording and it just makes the sound bigger, wider, is that we do double takes of vocals. So I'll sing the exact same thing twice, three times, sometimes even four or five times, right? And every time it'll be a little bit different. And what that does is it creates this nice layering of your vocals and gives it that wide sound. So I don't think they did that here. But when now when I go back to this one and you listen to it, it sounds so wide, it sounds so full. If I were a boy, even just for a day, this one's also a little faster. I'd roll out of bed in the morning and throw on what I wanted and go. What's really cool is the vocal sound like she's in movement, you know, like that's the character, that, that's the character, that's the characteristic of the vocals. Like you could describe it as it's moving you at the pace that it is. And she's actually walking, which beautifully correlates it. Drink beer with the guys and chase after girls. Oh, that's so big! Wow! All right, guys, on a production level, I think this is my favorite thing that I've heard so far. Like, if this is the sound of all her studio productions, if that's what's going to sound like moving forward, we've absolutely arrived at where we're supposed to be. It sounds so good. It, it's mixed so well, dude. This is a beautiful sound. It's a gorgeous sound. Hey, I would turn off my phone. 
tell everyone it's broken So they think that I was sleeping alone I put myself first And make the moves as I go I'm, I'm, I feel, I feel like I've been on, on a mission for the past year and so, like since we started doing this and since we're like, this is one of the artists out there on earth that deserve to be given a spotlight, you know, and as small as a role as we can play, we figured that we're on this mission. We, we can, we can, we can do something about it. You know, we can, we can help in our little way, and we can push this artist forward. And we dedicated every Monday to this artist for a year. And in my head, I'm like, you know what? Okay, we'll do every single video there ever was. You know, and then, and then we'll go there. At, at some point in time, Angina is going to become huge right she's going to become the biggest artist in the world and at that point in time she won't need that support anymore because she's already been introduced to as many people as possible right there in that like third leg or fourth leg of the song the sound the style just all of it put together the production value on that her voice her her character on camera doing that video the fact that she's working with toby gad like it just felt like she had arrived like she's there you know what i mean for the first time it's not about getting her there anymore because she's there and that sort of made me a little sad because soon sooner rather than later I'm not going to be able to play that small little part that I play right now in, in bringing her music and, and putting, putting some spotlight on her music. And that makes me sad. Um, it is, it's fantastic. The production is amazing. This is the sound. I'm convinced 100% that this is absolutely her, her sound. And... She does more of this and just develops it as time goes by. And, and you're looking at 20 million records sold, 40 million records sold. Like, that's it. That's her sound. I think we can all agree on, on that. And I know some of us want her to go back to, like, her jazz roots, right? And it's easy for us to, to say, this is what we want from you. But it's really what she wants to do and, and us going along the journey of what she wants to do, going with the sound that she wants to create and supporting her there, knowing that we're not just supporting an artist because of their musicianship or their voice, but because of who they are as a human being. 
It sounds so big, dude. It sounds it sounds important. It sounds full. It sounds ready. It's a little euphoric. Ah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Salamat.